Good morning, eighth graders. How are you doing? This is Miss Young, and we're going to talk about how the Europeans. Let me share my PowerPoint with you. And I do have some warm up questions also. You know, I always start out with warm-up questions. These questions might be on the Georgia Milestone test. So always answer them and always look at the pictures, okay? You will find the answers in the pictures. What is the highest peak in Georgia? That might be a question, like I said, on the Georgia Milestone test. The answer is in the pictures. Does the standard that we're talking about today is SS8H1. The student will evaluate the development of Native American culture and the impact of European inspiration and the settlement on Native American cultures in Georgia. Element B and element C. Element B, evaluate the verb, the impact of European contact on Native American cultures, includes Spanish missions along the Barrier Islands and the exploration of Fernando de Soto. Then element C, explain reasons for European exploration and settlement of North America with emphasis on the interests of the French, the Spanish, and British in South Southeastern area. The essential question, what impact did the arrival of the European have on the early Native American culture, which was a bad impact? And why did the European, primarily the Spanish, French, and English, explore and later settle parts of North America, basically killing the Native Americans off and taking over? You can print those off if you want to copy them, put them in your notebook, and study for later. European contact, Spanish explorers and missionary into Georgia in the early 1500s. European contact made a dramatic impact on the Native American, meaning it was not good. European missionary attempted to convert the natives to, to their religion. So basically they wanted the natives to dress like them, talk like them. Um, they also bought diseases that wiped out large portions of the native population. Um, that's because the natives were not accustomed to their diseases. Um, right here, it shows them coming in. And the natives thought that the Europeans were gods because they had weapons. They rode in on horses, but they were not gods by any means. Hernando de Soto was a Spanish conquistador. Um, he led in 600 soldiers across Georgia. DeSano was searching for the city of gold. DeSano men tortured and enslaved the natives in order to gain information about gold and silver location. The natives did not see gold, silver as being, you know, something that they needed to have. He never found the gold, but he did leave a lasting impact on the Native Americans in Georgia, which was devastating. He killed them. He gave them something to drink and he poisoned most of them. Some of them ended up escaping, but the majority of them, he poisoned them. This right here is a picture of Hernando de Soto. As her Soto marched throughout the Southeast, the houses of Native Americans were tortured and killed by his men. I do have a blank map where you can trace out, because there might be some questions on there in regards to his route. Diseases, De Soto and other Spanish explorers brought horrible diseases that devastated the Native American population. Some of the diseases include smallpox, influenza, measles, and chickenpox. The natives had no resistance to these diseases. Entire villages were wiped out at a time. You take a look at the pictures. In 1565, the Spanish established St. Augustine, Florida as their first permanent settlement. Then they moved north to establish posts on Summer Georgia Barrier Island, including St. Catherine, Cumberland, St. Simon. They established missions, 
Now, remember, missions are churches in all of these places with the goal of converting Native Americans to the Catholic religion. That might be a question on the Georgia Milestone test. Missions are churches, and the Europeans wanted to convert the natives. It's almost like somebody coming to your house and making you do something against, um, against what you believe in. These are missions. Spanish missions were established along the Barrier Islands to convert natives to Christianity. Right here, it shows his route. You might want to print out the blank map and write down, because it might be a question on there about where he entered in, um, and eventually he dies. The three Gs. These are the things that the Europeans were looking for. Gold, God, and glory. Um, the three Gs. Just remember the three Gs. Right here, they landed. If you look, the natives. The New World began in 1400. Spain, France, and Great Britain competed to, competed to conquer and claim land in North America. Christopher Columbus was given ships and sailors by the Spanish monarchy, meaning the king and queen. His goal was to find a quick route to Asia throughout the Atlantic Ocean. Columbus didn't make it to Asia, but actually landed in the Bahamas. Take into account, Columbus did not discover the New World. There were people already at the New World. He claimed the New World and named it, renamed it, but there were already natives there. Again, he brought diseases, rodents, um, and a lot of natives were wiped out again. Right here is Christopher Columbus. Shows his route. Exploration of the New World brought great wealth to Spain. Spain had a huge empire that spanned the globe. Spanish missions, again, remember those were churches. Uh, and forts, they built forts along Georgia and Florida coast to protect themselves. They, the natives were not bad people. The natives were basically protecting themselves and their land. Great Britain was the last group that began to explore the new world in the late 15th century. British explorers hoped to find raw materials that they could use to manufacture goods in their own country. Great Britain settled the 13 colony, Georgia, from Georgia to Maine between 1607 to 1732, Georgia being the last colony. Right here, it shows them landing, claiming land that wasn't theirs. France, French explorers traveled to the New World. French explorers found great numbers of beaver in eastern Canada and claimed the area for France. This became the center for fur trade and New World. Right here, it shows pictures. Native Americans. As the Europeans competed for land in America, they had little regard for the Native American living in the area. Many Natives were enslaved or killed from diseases. The Europeans were only interested in the Natives for trading, land deals, and military alliance. They basically put them on the front line, but the natives were not bad people. Right here, it shows them fighting against the natives. When you get a chance, watch the brain pop. And these are some reasons for the exploration. You can read through those. This is the route for Hernando. The saddle, excuse me. This is a blank map. You can print it out to trace out his route. Then it was the French, the Spanish, and then Great Britain that decided to go and look for the three G's. What are the three G's? God, go, and glory. Make sure you have a good day. Make sure you study. Make sure you're uh, reviewing the PowerPoints 
and your lessons on ingenuity for the Georgia Milestone Test. Thank you.